If you're late to class, you have to go to the den. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Casey. And I'm Micah. And you're watching a special edition of BDTV for Friday, October 23rd, 2015. And coming up on today's show, Around the School in 80 Seconds, and Facts About Winter Haven. Wow, Micah. Wow? Word of the Week. And who's doing the Word of the Week? Miss Williams, of course. <laughs> Don't wear holes in your jeans. Good morning, Winter Haven High School. The Word of the Week is comply, which means you act, or you act responsible, and you comply to all rules and responsibilities. Here at Winter Haven High School, all of our students comply to all of our rules. No hats are allowed to be worn at school. Me and Lee's will both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me. The worst is yet to come. All the misery, but that's it. Everywhere, what deep in love? Cause I know, cause I know, girl, I know. She told me, don't worry about it. She told me, don't worry. In 1912, Winter Haven had 200 students. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Corinne here in Guidance looking for some service opportunities. And if you're interested in volunteer opportunities, see Ms. Bachman or visit the school website. Or even come down to Guidance and look at the bulletin board. Especially those juniors and seniors interested in the National Honor Society because you must have 45 documented community service hours by January 22, 2016. The blindfolded three-legged race for next week is on Thursday, October 28th. Participate to support World Sight Day along with DECA. Now, do you think you can get around the school in 80 seconds? Winter Haven High School is the first school in our district to offer the Cambridge program. All right, guys, I'm on a tight deadline. I've only got 80 seconds to show you what Winter Haven High School is all about. I'm Lucas with BDTV. TV. Let's go. Our 80 seconds starts right now. I'm here in the gym where we have some pretty awesome sports teams like basketball, volleyball, and wrestling. But that's not all. Outside we got football, baseball, softball, boys and girls soccer, boys and girls golf, boys and girls swimming. And if sports aren't your thing, we have some amazing performing arts like drama, band, orchestra, and chorus. Here at Winter Haven, we also have some amazing clubs like HOSA, AOHT, The Trident, FFA, Junior Chef Club, Key Club, FCCLA, BDTV. And in BDTV, we can do some pretty cool things. Like I can be in Student Council, FBLA, NHS. And don't forget, we also have a top-notch student body and staff. Well, looks like I'm out of time. I'm Lucas for BDTV. Get involved, Blue Devils. There are 616 freshmen on campus this year. Wow, Lucas, that was amazing. I'm Abby. And I'm Gigi. And I don't think I could do that. Well, I know the boys' basketball team can, and their trials begin on October 26th through the 30th at 2.30 p.m. You must have a complete physical to participate. For more information, please see Coach Woodside in room 34, 205. Congratulations to the Pride of Winter Haven on another successful competition this weekend. Their overall rating was a superior. This Saturday, Winter Haven High School performs at 8 p.m., $8 for adults and $5 for students, so go out and support your band. Competitive Chilean Trials continues today and the 27th and the 28th at XL Athletics. Powder Puff will be on November 16th. Applications and the $30 are due to Miss Archambault today. So are you participating in Powder Puff? Of course. Well, you know who's gonna try to win? Kay. Kaylee. All shirts must have sleeves. There have been many generations of students that have walked the halls of Winter Haven. You would think that we would know everything about this school and what it has to offer. I'm here to tell you a few things that you probably don't know about our awesome school. What year was Winter Haven found? 1920. 1930. 1738. Uh, 1886. Winter Haven High School was opened in 1886 on the second floor of Boyd's Hall, currently where City Hall stands. Here, where Winter Haven Post Office currently stands, is where Winter Haven High School moved in 1890. In 1922, Winter Haven expanded to where Denison Middle School is now. What year was Winter Haven built here on 6th Street? Oh, um, 1842. 1948. 
1826. 1955. When Winter Haven moved here to 6th Street, a major expansion happened. New administrative offices, music building, and a gym was added. In 2009, an estimated $24 million was spent to build a total of four new buildings, including a freshman academy, a medical academy, a culinary academy, and a fashion academy. While you walk the halls of Winter Haven for the next few years, or if you're a senior the next few months, take a look around. There's a lot of history here. I'm Kaylee BDTV. Stay informed. The class of 1925 had 47 seniors. Thanks, Kaylee. Those were some pretty interesting facts. Another interesting fact is that United Way is accepting donations now. Please bring all donations to Miss Northern by October 29th. And while you're in the giving spirit, Operation Christmas Child has been extended through this week, so please donate. I'm going to get back to studying, and you try to figure out Amanda's SAT question. In 1917, Winter Haven High School had six teachers and a principal. I hope you have been studying, Chase, because today's SAT question is pretty hard. A special lottery is being held to determine which student will stay in the only deluxe room in a dormitory. There are 100 senior names entered, 150 junior names, and 200 sophomore names. Each senior's name will be entered three times, each junior's name twice, and each sophomore's name once. What is the probability that a senior's name will be drawn? Oh, I get it now. Since each senior's name is entered three times, there are 300 senior names. Since each junior's name is entered twice, there are 300 junior names. And since each sophomore's name is entered once, there are only 200 sophomore names. This means that there are 800 names entered in total. Since 300 of these names are seniors, the probability that a senior's name will be drawn is 300 out of 800, which can be reduced to D, 3 eighths. Now back to Casey and Micah to close out the show. If you go to the den three times, you'll be placed in ISS. Thanks, Amanda, for that SAT question. Casey, did you know that Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S.? That's crazy. I did not. So students, please help our FCCLA as they collect money for Alzheimer's research. The class collecting the most money will win a party. And that's awesome. And JROTC participated in the Cadet Challenge this weekend, bringing home two trophies. Way to go, cadets. And the PSAT will be given to all sophomores on October 28th. Any juniors who wish to take the PSAT can contact Mrs. Zinmeister in the main office before or after school to pay the $15 test fee. And that's a great opportunity. And that's it for today, Winter Haven. I'm Casey. And I'm Micah. Have a wonderful day.